he was he was all ticked off. Mm. That's scary. You got the sheriff involved. Mm. Mm. Scary. Huh? Scary. Yeah, it's 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 Ready? I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the Bethel Planning Board. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. Uh, we have a quorum. Minutes. Um, I will make a motion to approve the minutes as drafted um, for the meeting of. Wednesday, August 28th. I'll second. All in favor? I can't vote. I wasn't here and she wasn't here. So that's only three. Three, that's then only we don't have a quorum. That's okay, minutes. right? Nine minutes? For just three people to be able to vote? How many were at the meeting? The last meeting? Uh, yeah. Five of us. I have five. So if you have three of you approve them, you're also. Only oh, three can vote. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah. that would work with the board. A, a present. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any new communication? Mm -hmm. New business. So we have Chestnut Knoll. Um, what I said, you want to amend. Ken, you're going to be representing the owners. Yes. Um, we're going to amend a lot. I'm not sure. Were you combining two lots or? Uh, 13 and Joseph Greenwood uh, bought lot 14 with the dwelling garage on initially, and then they purchased lot 13, which is vacant. Mm -hmm. And they wish to split 13 and two individual. Well, they want to keep a portion of lot 13 to go along with their, their home lot. Okay. And then they want to um, offer for sale the amendment to lot. I tell you, I was a little confused when I was trying to understand it. Um, did you bring us something? Because it's their letter. You know, the letter says they're combined. I thought they were combined. Yeah, I, 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 they were combined. I, read, like, I said, I think I'm going to just monster. wait here. Well, they're what combining, but they're only combining part of Okay, all right. All right. Do you need a... We'll let Ken do it. So they own 13 and 14. All right. Oh, 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 So the originally, Ken, that 13 was the point of section as well, all of that? Yes. And they're switching that over to, they're going to add that to 14? They're going to retain this portion of lot 13. Okay. The triangle shape piece. And then they would like to offer that for sale. Oh, okay. And we didn't reduce the uh, original frontage of lot 13. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. the same as mm -hmm. original. So that little triangle is going to lot 14. Right. Yes. And right. then, okay. So that when they re Call it registered now the registered deed. Right. This will be one lot, mm -hmm. one big lot, and then they'll still have 13. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to come up with more questions. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ken, how you been? <laughs> um, I, I certainly don't have a problem with this. They're nice big lots mm -hmm. uh, at Chestnut Knoll back in the day when they were about five acres. We mm -hmm. still have that. So, I'm good with it. And I've also added the condition um, talks about the same covenants running with. Lot 13 as originally. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there were there were original covenants in the subdivision. Mm -hmm. uh, 
accept that in certain language by comparing laws between the brothers. And there's no, oh, that's a good idea. no additional <laughs> laws that can be created within the subject. Uh, someone couldn't come in and split one of these laws mm -hmm. into unless. Um, Sue just brought up a good point. She caught something I didn't. Uh, one of the abutters is my uh, stepdaughter and her husband. They are Tara's. So I probably should disclose it or not. It matters, but. Well, I'll make a motion that doesn't raise a conflict of interest. You have no financial interest in the property. I'll second. <coughs> All in favor? Thank you. <coughs> okay. Um, I, I will make a motion, if you're ready, that the applicant has standing that the letter authorizing uh, Ken to represent under the warranty deed. Okay. I'd like to entertain a second. I'll second. All in favor? Um, do I need, we have findings of fact on this, right? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to say that the application is complete. Does someone have a motion to that effect? I will make that motion that the application is complete. Second. All in favor? Okay. You want to jump on to the findings of fact? Mm -hmm. Yes. Shouldn't be too much. Do you have? I do have that. Yeah. I was just looking at something else. So we'll go. Did you have any questions? I only have. A, it's not pertinent yet. It's about the like, deed. I'm okay. trying to didn't understand how it would be modified. But I guess I don't. Yeah. Okay. okay. In the we'll get to it. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll get to that. Yeah. 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 And the, well, Ken's the perfect person to answer that. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> we are I'm on page one of the findings of fact. Page two. Um, page, I'm on page one, which says page 14 for some reason on it. Was that? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Is everybody. Sherry, sure, do we have any butters here? Do we have any butters here? Technically, I'm, I'm in the. Subdivision. subdivision. Okay. I would have butt that lot, but I'm in the subdivision. Oh, okay. Um, I just wanted to speak something. So when we go through the findings of fact, um, it's a real complex. Problem. We'll go through one of these at a sure. time. Something like this. We're going to go through this fairly quickly, mm -hmm. so, and we'll go by page. Okay. Okay. So is everybody good with page one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about page two? <clears throat> I think the only sorry the only question I have is if there's any anything in the ordinances that restrict or have a restriction for the size of the lots. That's the only question I have. But in the um, in the yeah. code of ordinance with the covenants. The covenants, yeah. This is one of those subdivisions that's really, it's, it's an early subdivision for Bethel. Okay. And the lots were around five acres. So, okay. um, in, yeah. And we don't deal with covenants. We don't get them. Because we second. can't just write them. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Sorry. <clears throat> nope. Keep asking questions. Okay. That's <laughs> absolutely fine. I like that. Um, okay, so let's go to the next page, which is page 17. Or, Page three. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next page. Okay, number thirteen. <clears throat> Additional improvements. Um how would you like that to read? I would say NA because we don't, we're not requesting NA. Right. Um, 
Are you going to just, Emma, put in there no additional, um, additional, uh, additional improvements? Yeah, requested. <laughs> requested. Okay. Next page. Page 20. Mm -hmm. Work it there. Mm -hmm. Page 21. Mm -hmm. okay. These conditions are approval on the last page. This so, so subdivisions can actually approve by the DFP. Yeah. Right. I didn't see any. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't see any notes for that. Okay. I will make a motion to approve the findings of fact for this subdivision lot realignment on Chestnut Knoll as drafted. That's it. Okay, all in favor? Did you have any comments on the subdivision? <laughs> I'm not objecting myself, but I'm curious. The, the covenants as I read them prohibit uh, subdividing a lot except to divide it between two adjacent lots. Um, and so I, I was just curious about and, and the covenants were approved by the planning board, so and the initial you know subdivision was approved by the planning board. So I was just curious about that whether there was any problem with, as I read it, not being uh, in accordance with the covenants. Mm -hmm. If that would create a legal problem sometime later on, you know, future sale or something. Right. So those are adjacent properties. Yeah, they are adjacent. But it it. As I read the covenants, you cannot subdivide a lot into two pieces unless it go each half goes to, to oh, abutting uh, lots. Mm -hmm. We don't enforce covenants. Okay. We have no enforcement authority, so your homeowners associated it's a matter that you would take up. Okay, thank you. That's all okay. I want to know. <laughs> but it sort of is doing that because one half of it is going they just real. I think the right word was right. Realigning it because it's. But you can't like take one of those lots, divide it in half, and then sell them to two different people. You can't. Right. Yeah. But you can realign like that. We actually do this quite a bit mm -hmm. on the planning board. It's a. It's not uncommon. Um, so, but we don't handle covenants. If there's a problem with the association, they have to deal with that. Right? Okay, that's all I want. But this, this, yeah, this should be fine. Okay. <clears throat> I'll make a motion to approve the uh, subdivision replat plan as presented. Uh, Second. All in favor? Great. Okay, do you want us to sign one of these? I didn't sign two of them. Okay. I'll start here. Yeah, the turquoise pen. Oh, okay. so. okay. Is that a black pen? No, it's like I've got blue. Color. Did you want black? Blue is fine. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll do yes, that. Sir. Okay. Four. I'll send okay. this down this, this way. way. It started. Is this your pen? Yeah. Yes, yeah. oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, how many are we signing? Two. 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 So this is coming your way.
Next on our agenda for new business is Lemieux Meets. Um, they'd like to do some live entertainment. I understand it's not all the time, but for special occasions. Yeah. And okay. Um, should we get a date on this? I have a comment to make about this. Yeah, I'm looking for a deed. Yeah, I, I assume they were relying on our previous approval. I, I, okay, are you? Do we do a deed this time, Emma? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. We have it on file. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't need standing. And uh, could I get, what did you want to say? I am of the opinion that since there is no new construction being described in this project, that uh, site plan amendment is not required because the town has another vehicle through an entertainment license to approve the occasional use of live entertainment um, and which, to which they can assign conditions you know, regarding any number of things, uh, probably related to time right. and noise and levels. And I would, um, if I would, for the sake of uh, discussion, not to make a motion to say that having determined that there is no new construction and no performance standards uh, effective that, uh, that cannot be addressed through a entertainment license uh, a, a application before the Board of Selectmen that we have determined that no site plan review amendment is in order. Um, Cordy, what did, um, or Emma, I'm not sure who, didn't you bring this up to Sharon? But what? I did, um, I don't have my code book. Can I borrow someone's code book and I can Sure, you can use mine. I guess I remember it. Um, oh, you don't have the tabs. Hold on, I don't think you. I stole my tabs from my old code book. 
Because I like them so much. They haven't been in They didn't put tabs in there? Yeah, there's tabs, but they haven't been Oh my gosh. Those things are so hard to take off. <laughs> <laughs> leave them here, they'll do it. Will they? Yeah, I can do it for you. There's not enough tabs, though. I don't know. Unless you have your old code yeah, book. Yeah, you did your old book? No, I gave it, but we had to before we could get the new ones. Um, so it discusses the following definitions shall be used to determine right. applicability. Um, I'm on 140-3 under applicability. It's on the left-hand side at the top. This is applicability. Yeah. Um, so under C, it says the following definition shall be used to determine applicability. So it does discuss new construction shall occur when new or different material is used to build, rebuild, construct, erect a structure on new or existing foundation, which they're not doing any of that stuff. Um, a change of use shall occur when either of the following occurs as determined and documented by the planning board. The proposed use significantly affects the performance standards as defined in 140-5, which are your performance standards, or stricter standards as defined in 140-7, special regulations apply to proposed use. So special regulations is like the bed and breakfast and in, restaurants, etc. Um, substantial enlargement, and it discusses the footprint which isn't happening, uh, or substantial alteration shall occur when there's a structural change, which there isn't. Um, so the, the point of why things will be sent is because it discusses a change of use and it says the proposed significantly affects the performance standards. I don't have the authority, nor does Emma, to make that decision on if it affects performance standards. This potentially could affect noise or parking, um, and that's why it goes yeah. here. So, yeah. so we have to determine. You guys that. can determine if it affects the parking and the, and the noise level. Well, there, there may be other standards. They are. Um, there's like one seven of them, yep. and they may not significantly affect it. Um, that's why you guys are here. Okay, so I gotta try to get through this book without any entertainment Perfect. Much like um, you know the ice little the little ice palace thing and. I mean, it's not permanent and it's not mm -hmm. continual. Right. I only have a few questions mm -hmm. related literally to traffic, parking, and noise. That's all. That's okay. Yeah. Well, um, why don't we just go ahead and um, I do need, now do I need to do the motion on the application being complete? Well, you have a motion out, so you're going to have a motion. Have a motion. I put a motion on the floor. Oh, oh, that, okay. That is determining that the site plan amendment is not required because no significant okay. performance standard impacts with that will not be addressed in a live entertainment right. permit, which they have to receive from the town board of selectmen. Yeah. No new construction, uh, you know, right. ample parking. Um, people are going to be eating there. They're, they're not going to be eating mm -hmm. and just, I mean, just listening to me, they're, they're, this is part of the experience of their restaurant experience, so I don't think it, in my mind, I don't think they should not have to come to us either. But, okay, so let's, let's, if someone wants to second that, and then Brandy had a few questions, so and we'll open up the discussion. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Um, any questions? I do, I just have a few questions, and you, you may have just answered them. Um, I, uh, well, the first question was the um, the temporary nature of the, you'll have events. Are the events going to be hosting more people than you would typically expect at dinner? I.e., is it just for dinner type activities, or are you planning out other events? Um, it wouldn't be like more people than we typically house at one time. Okay. We can only have so many people in our building or on our patio to begin with. Um, but we, we've done different like, community <coughs> events and things like that, like books and brunch is what I'm thinking of. So we do a fundraiser for the library and we have another one coming up. Okay. And then my brain, there was somebody playing a little acoustic guitar. And yeah, I was like, probably would be a breaking rule. <laughs> Just trying to make sure that I have those yeah. little things in order. Um, okay. But yeah, it wouldn't be more people on site necessarily okay. at 
Do you not like having a rave out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the goal. <laughs> um, so, so what would you think of the change of use? Because a change of use doesn't apply. Yeah, change of use. It's not a change of use. It's a, I mean, you know, so many eating establishments, restaurants offer some level of mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't think, Bob, that I think they need to go to the select board for an entertainment permit. I think that it was a, you know, they shouldn't have had to have come to us. I but there, no one needs to make that determination. We have to. Go ahead. The only other question I had was directly related to what you guys were asking because there is a com there's a number 24 related to noise, mm -hmm. but I know that I was reading there's other ordinances about that and mm -hmm. how would we so mm -hmm. my question was headed the same direction as yours as if this is even relevant but I took that so. I mean I think it's awesome. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, an, enter an entertainment permit yeah. can mm -hmm. they can insert any conditions mm -hmm. if they want to say the Live entertainment can only go on as long as uh, at the uh, until their food food service ends or whatever. I, I fully expect the select board mm -hmm. to put something in place. This is a mixed use neighborhood, so you know there's um, which makes it you know what we want in our village. So I agree. Yeah. I'm good. I don't have any other questions. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Are we ready for a vote? Please take the motion, please. I am making, uh, I am moving that the uh, proposal by Lou Eats to offer on occasion live music does not require a site plan amendment on the basis that no significant performance standards are affected that cannot be addressed through the live entertainment permit that will be required by the Board of Selectmen. There is no new construction associated with this um, uh, proposal and how'd you remember that? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me in five minutes. Are you good, Bob? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Okay, so moved. You're set. You just need to go get your entertainment permit. Um, Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. So what would we have put on the site plan? Twenty, I could just see maybe a ukulele, guitar. I was about to do a That's it. That's it. So you guys want to talk to Josh? Sure. I got an email from Jen. You know Josh Lorraine? Jessica's the clerk. It was about the noise, but you already addressed. You know, I never thought the issue was he thinks that it would be too loud outside. Because he always tells me that every goes to your house is inside. The problem with the noise is extremely difficult to regulate and to enforce. The town of Bethlehem has no train. I don't even know if we actually own any equipment to do that with. And Jessica is the first. Okay, that's a good point. I mean, I think it falls under the entertainment. Bye guys, thank you. Hi. Hi. No, no, no. Uh, Back to DC. I know Mitch. You know Mitch? I'm in the rotary, so oh, um, yeah. Mitch. But um okay, so upcoming meetings. We don't have any other we don't have any old business, other business. Nope, nope. Mention the next meeting. Uh no, I don't we won't have a next meeting. So September twenty fifth is off. Yep, off the docket. Yes. Oh, nice. Whoa. October 9th. October then. Oh. Wow. Crazy. I know. It's too bad. Motion on the floor. I just need a second. <laughs> <laughs> I need to finish my job, Bob. <laughs> Somebody told me that in Robert's Rules of Order, you don't need a motion to adjourn, right. or a second, 
per vote, the chair can just simply call the meeting at your own. We're down to so nine. So disappointed. We're not using the rules of order. We are, but we're not using them well. <laughs> no, we no, guys removed them from rules of procedure last time you reviewed them. All right. Yeah. It is yeah. I'm just letting you but know. But I did second it. Okay. All right. to go. Okay, all, all in favor for one last time. Did someone second? Wait a minute, we yeah, gotta yeah, do yeah. this all over again. No. No. <laughs> so look at it, everybody. This is it is six thirty. <laughs>